Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have what we call a system of linear, or in this case, nonlinear inequalities, because they're not lines, they are curves, so they're nonlinear. And since we're dealing with the system of nonlinear inequalities, we're going to call the non-shaded region the solution, because we want to keep uh, shading out the portions that are not part of the solution, and that whatever's left over is going to be the solution, so we're going to reverse the order here. But let's take a look at the first example. Notice that we have two parabolas. If these were, uh, uh, yeah, two parabolas. If these were equal signs, we'd end up with these two parabolas. Notice because of the equal signs here, as well as the inequality symbol, it includes the boundary region. So that we don't get confused, it's not a bad idea to label them or number them. So the top one here, let's call that equation number one. That means that this down here is equation number one. And equation number two here is the top one right here, equation number two, because we have a positive exponent, a positive uh, number in front of the x squared, a negative number in front of the x squared, so that gives you this idea which problem we're dealing with. The best way to find out which region satisfied, doesn't satisfy the, uh, the, the solution here, uh, we can, the inequality, we can put in a test point. And of course, if you pick zero, zero as a test point, that's always the best. So let's try zero, zero. Plug in 0 for x and 0 for y, so we get 0 less than or equal to 0 plus 3, question mark. And the answer is yes, 0 is less than 3, so the answer is yes. So for our first equation, for this parabola right here, the origin is included in the solution. That means outside is not included, so we can get rid of everything outside the parabola, like that. Okay. So all that's possible solution is right here. Now for the second one, again, we'll plug in origin, 0, 0. So is 0 greater than or equal to 0 minus 3, question mark. So is 0 greater than negative 3? The answer is yes. So that means for the second parabola, that point, the origin, is also part of the solution, which means for parabola number 2, this one right here, Anything outside the parabola is not part of the solution, so we can go ahead and scratch that one out as well. That means that the only portion left that's the solution is what's inside here. So this is the solution. This is not the solution. Scratch that out. So that's how we determine the region that satisfies both inequalities at the same time. We'll do the same over here. First of all, we have the ellipse, and with the ellipse, it's easy to figure out if it's inside or outside. Notice less than means that inside the ellipse is the solution. It means outside is not the solution, so we can get rid of that. Notice we don't include the boundary because there's no equal sign there. So we get rid of everything that's outside the ellipse. It's not part of the solution. Now for the parabola. Notice if we rewrite this a little bit, we can rewrite this one as y is less than, bring the x squared across, becomes minus x squared. Uh, therefore, we have the problem right here, which opens downward because we have the negative 1. And notice that we need to pick a test point. So a good test point to pick may be, uh, how about this one right here? Is that a good test point? That's the test point 0, 1. Let's plug that in here. So is 0 for x and 1 for y is 1 less than 0, question mark. And of course the answer is no, which means I picked the test point that's not in the region. This is part of the region, this is not part of the region, so we can get rid of everything that's outside the parabola, which means the only thing that's left is this region right here. And of course I need to use a dashed line because it doesn't include the boundary. So this is the solution and outside is not part of the solution. So it's not a bad idea that when you're all done that you actually write in the region, this is the solution, that's the portion that satisfies both inequalities at the same time. So that is how it's done. 